Today, I'm gonna tell you guys why I believe positive thinking is complete bullshit. I believe it's our responsibility as men to do better every day, to learn from our mistakes, grow through our failures, and work to become the best that we can be. A few years ago, I attended a Tony Robbins conference and he said, I think positive thinking is bullshit. It doesn't work because it distracts us from the reality of life. Now, the truth is we can see our glass is half empty or half full and is much better to see it as half full. But the truth is we still have to acknowledge the reality that it's only half full when we have the capacity to fill it all the way up, to make it overflowing. You see, we use positive thinking to cover up the reality of the circumstance. You know, let's say you have a garden and you look at your garden and there's weeds all over it. It's overrunning your garden. And you're like, there's no weeds, there's no weeds, there's no weeds, right? Positive thinking, positive thinking, positive thinking. The truth of the matter is that the way that you think about things doesn't change the reality of it. You can change your perspective, you can change the way that you view it, but just thinking positive doesn't change anything. In fact, it can be detrimental because rather than addressing the circumstance, attacking the challenge head on, you're sugarcoating it. You're telling yourself a lie. You're not being real with yourself. So if you have a garden and you see that it's overrun with weeds, you have one of two options. The first option is you can say there's no weeds, there's no weeds, there's no weeds. You can hope and pray that the weeds go away. Or you can acknowledge the fact that I got fucking weeds in my garden and it's my responsibility to go rip those motherfuckers out, to clean out my garden, to tend to my garden, and to make sure that it grows in the way that I want. You see, brothers, what I'm talking about here is not positive thinking. Yes, the glass is half empty or the glass is half full. And the idea of half empty versus half full is categorized as positive thinking, but I call bullshit because positive thinking doesn't solve anything. What solves problems is empowered thinking. Being real with the circumstances and the situations and acknowledging where you're at today and then putting a plan in place to take action to make whatever circumstance you're dealing with what you want it to be. In our lives, we're gonna be challenged. We're gonna be knocked down. We're gonna fail over and over again. And the way that you rise above that is not positive thinking. It's empowered thinking. It's looking at the situation as it is and then putting a plan in place to make it better than it is. So here's an example from my life. A few years ago, before I started Live Bearded, I had a terrible business failure. And if I'm being real with you guys, I lost hundreds of thousands of dollars and nearly went bankrupt. And at my lowest point, positive thinking would have never got me through to where I am today. I had to look at myself in the mirror and I had to taste that medicine. I had to be real with myself and say, this is why I fucked up. This is what I did wrong. This is where I need to learn and grow. And I used that experience to create a, an empowered level of thinking that has pushed me through and got me where I am today. Positive thinking in a lot of ways is just bullshitting yourself. Where empowered thinking is being real, addressing the problem, and then creating a solution to overcome it, right? If you're overweight, you can tell yourself, oh, I'm just big boned. You can be positive and say I'm big boned, or you can say I'm fucking fat. That's the truth. And I need to figure out a way to get healthier. I need to create a plan of action to go out there and to empower myself to become a better version of myself. Positive thinking is bullshitting. Empowered thinking is taking life by the horns and becoming the best that you can be. The bottom line is you guys can be positive and bullshit yourself. Lie to yourself about the truth of the matter or you can look at it as it is. You can see your failures and your faults and where you went wrong. You can uncover those truths and use those truths to empower you to become the best that you can be. I'll see you guys next week.